here. We've got two different styles. Happy to do that. This booth is just so busy. I love it. Oh, yeah. SAP is fantastic. We're excited. Hello, everybody. This is Keith Nashley from Dedicated. I'm at Calibra's Data Citizens on the Road event in New York City, and I stopped by the SAP booth to talk to David. David, let's start with a quick intro. What do you do at SAP, and how long have you been there? So I've been at SAP for about 23 years, uh, and my title is Senior Director of Enterprise Architect. So I work part of the COE Solution Advisory to help customers, not just about architect, how they are going to manage their strategy going forward, especially with the adoption of AI and how do I incorporate AI into my business. Hmm. Amazing. And I see you've got a slogan here, SAP, Business yep. Data Cloud Integration with Calibra. How do you actually work with Calibra? How do you collaborate together? Yeah. It, actually, I don't see it as partnership. I see it more of a collaboration, right? where both SAP and Calibra give that end-to-end -end data and AI governance for our customers. And it's critical because if you don't have good, trusted, quality, compliant data, right? Especially with inside of SAP and outside of SAP, right? You're gonna get hallucinations. You're not gonna be able to make decisions. You're gonna end up with silos when it comes to data and so forth. Right, so when we partner with Calibra, it's giving us that catalog unified vision of what particular data assets that I want to manage with inside of my organization and being able to assign and get to that self-service type of engagement, right? Where an end user or a line of business person has trusted data assets that they can go and do various analytics on. And you've been working, you've been collaborating with Calibra for a while now. And I heard you just got the Technology Partner of the Year Award, so yes. huge congratulations on right. that. You guys must be doing something right together. Yes. I'd love to hear this. And I'd love to hear about how you actually go to market and any customer use case stories that you can share. I'll use SAP. We are a customer of Calibra. And back in 2023, we announced a partnership that, you know, as SAP moved into the cloud, started adding more AI, like I said, to automate the data workflow, data process with inside of our core applications, we needed some way to manage the data and the governance, right? So it's not just garbage in, garbage out, but it's... Even if garbage comes in, yeah. Calibra updates, right? Corrects it from a quality standpoint. And I get gospel out. Yeah. It, trusted information. To get, is everyone's dream is to get to the 360, yeah. right? Self-service yeah. view. Yes. To make basically data-driven decisions, better outcomes, and so forth. And they want everything in real time. Yeah. Uh, having that aspect, we turned the mirror onto ourselves and basically said, hey, we've got over 100,000 employees across the globe. We've got assets that are everywhere with inside of the system. Yeah. Instead of creating a, a data swamp, how do we keep our lake house very clean? How do we deliver trusted assets to our end users, employees internally? At that point, we just work with Calibra, right? We are leveraging their particular portal. Okay. So I can go on currently today. I can see all the various assets. I can use AI, okay, chat, GTP, but we're leveraging Jewel. Yeah. And I'll say, hey, I want to look at all of the content from order to cash. And if I'm looking at it from a customer standpoint, right, if I don't have access to that data, right? Because yeah. some of it may be sensitive. Then I can request, right? And then that goes off from the approval. If my role says no, then I'll get a response that says, hey, David, you're not allowed to have those data sets. And that's the reason why. Okay. Okay. That makes sense. And I love that SAP is an actual customer of Calibra. Yes. I think yes. it, it goes a long way when you're, you're not only collaborating together, but also using each other's services. Right. And now, that's why I say it's more of a collaboration than right. a partnership.
we can't end the conversation here because we have to talk about AI briefly, right? Yeah. How, what's SAP's vision for AI? How are you using it? And how are you using it together with Calibro? Yes. And, and keeping with kind of the trusted data asset and so forth, right? SAP has always had the vision, right? And from a strategic standpoint to take the omnipresence of agents and go from a co-pilot into organizer okay. where you have agentic agents that are doing specific tasks and Autonomous roles. Autonomous agents so, so. that yeah. actually take action. Uh, and optimizing those and so forth. SAP is pushing that into the work process. And based upon that work process, there'll be autonomous agents that are listening and doing different tasks. If they need to reach out to others, then those are what I would consider is the orchestration piece. So it's where AI is actually truly embedded into the whole work process. Yeah. Now, it's not replacing the employee because certain things you don't want to automate completely. You want somebody from a human standpoint to say, oh, yes, that's a discrepancy with invoice or order to cash or whatever that you may have from a compliancy standpoint. The partnership between SAP and Calibra, to me, is a gorgeous fit, right? Because huh. it gives you the AI governance from a Calibra standpoint. The data with inside of SAP is unrivaled right. because we have owned the business process. You need process. that context, yes. right? You can't do yes. yes. without the context. And it's all about data. the semantic logic, right? Yeah and keeping the business object, because if you extract out of SAP, right, you're gonna lose all of the hierarchical, the semantic, yes. the relationship of that business object or what we call a data product with inside of the platform. And having that data product is key, because then at that point I can build intelligent apps on top of those data products. I yeah. can manage those data products and so forth without having to use a lot of custom development. I can use right. the low code, no code to consume these Absolutely. at that point. So, and that's the future. For oh, yes. Sure. That's definitely the future. And it's here today. We're producing data products almost monthly and releasing those and so forth. So, you know, anybody who wants to go out to our discovery center or browse around of that all the different services. That was my next question, David. Yeah. I want you to tell my audience, where can they go to learn more about SAP? Yeah. So if they go to and type in to Google or your favorite search engine, just SAP Discovery, then it'll pop up the portal. There's also an API data hub, so if they're interested in integration, but they can always go to sap.com, select by product or use case scenario, and it's easy to pull up that documentation as well as request demos. And also, if they want demo environments, they can do that as well. Great. I encourage my audience to make sure you're following SAP and Calibra on all social media platforms. And David, thank you so much. Cheers. Yeah. And link with me on LinkedIn. Yeah. Find him on LinkedIn. Yeah. Follow and David. I'm happy to help any way I can. Thank you. Cheers. All right. Cheers.